Uh, greetings, Matt fans. All right, today is day five of chapter three, and what we're going to do today is actually calculate slope given two points. So let's write that out here. We're going to find the slope given two points. Okay, so just to kind of talk a little about it really quickly, if I give you an xy axis, right, and if I uh, let's say I just give you a point right here, this point, and let's go with this point right here. Okay, so I give you two points here, and I ask you, you know, you look at the, uh, um, you kind of look, you look at the points and you try to find the slope, right? And you guys know it's rise over run. So I had to go up, if I look at it, I had to go up one, two, three. So I had to go up three. So I'm going to write this out here, up three, and that's in the y direction. Do you guys agree with that? And then I had to go over one, right, over one in the x direction. Okay? So think about it. I, my slope is up three over one, right? So my slope is three over one or three. So what I did is I, I said I, I found the distance between these two points. I basically found the x or the y direction distance. So the difference in y from here, from the from the bottom point here, distance in y from here to here. And then I found the distance to x over here. Okay? So from again from this point over here to this point over here, I found that distance. So what I'm doing is I'm, tr I'm finding the distance between the x's and distance between the y's. And of course, it's the y on top. That's why I kind of drew it this way. So it's the change in y over change in x. All right. So you guys have seen this formula already in Algebra 1. But our, our main formula here is our slope, which we know as m for montagne, okay, is equal to the change in y. So this is how you write that. It's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, okay? This is gold, All right? Do I, have, do I have gold? Yes, I have gold. So I'm gonna write, I'm gonna highlight this in gold because that is like super important, okay? All right, so uh, it's a very, very important formula. So it's change in y over change in x. All right, let me put this back to normal here. So let's just kind of do a couple problems here. But basically, um, this is what you're going to be given. So let me kind of erase. Uh, let me erase a few things here. Okay, so I, I give you this formula here. And this is what's the deal. I'm going to give you guys um, two points. And these points are actually going to be x1, comma y1. Remember, x comes first. And then x2, y2. All right, just means one point and another point. That's all it means. In fact, it doesn't matter if I flip this over and put this over here and I call this one x1, y1, and the second one x2, y2. It doesn't matter. The order doesn't matter. And the reason it doesn't matter is because, let's go going back to two points here. If I ask you to find the slope between here and here, you would say, oh, it's like up three and over three, right? Well, isn't it the same thing as going down three and to the left three? Because if I go down, you guys agree the slope for this one, if I said it was 3, it would be or it would be 3 and 3, so 3 over 3 is 1. But down 3 is negative 3, and to the left 3 is negative 3. That's also equal to 1. So these are the same. Okay? So it doesn't matter which point's first or which point's second, as long as you don't mix it up and say, you know, say x1 and y2 and y1 and x2. Okay? So... Uh, anyway, let's let, let me go back to uh, that x1, y1 here. Okay, so here's an example. If I said the slope or the points are um, two comma three and uh, four comma seven. Okay, so what you're going to do? This is super important. See, how I wrote that formula on the board. This is also another formula you need to know. And you're going to be like, Mr. Krupps, this is the exact same thing. Yeah, so what I'm doing here is I'm putting the negatives in here. 
before I even start the formula out. I totally recommend that because if you, like, it's not a big deal here, but all of a sudden you're going to have some negatives. And if you don't have the negatives in here already, the minus signs, you are totally going to forget the negatives. I promise you. It's how it works. Okay. So this right here is super important to, um, you know, to start the problem out. Okay. So let me start out with writing M equals, and I can draw a line. And then I'm going to put, if you want to label it, it's not bad. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Label it. Put some labels on it. So then you're not, you're good. So it's Y2 minus Y1. So it's 7. Well, here. God, I didn't even do what I said I was going to do. Right? I'm going to put the negatives here. Okay? Now I put the numbers here. Uh, it's 7 and 3. And 4 and 2. Okay? 7 minus 3 is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. So my answer is 2. That's my slope. It's as simple as that. It really is. Okay? All right, so let's keep going here. Let's do a few more examples. Get got rid of the equation, but that's okay. Um, negative 3, comma 4, and 2, negative 7. All right, so I'm going to write M equals and negative, negative. And then I'm going to put, if you can label it, X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So we're going to do uh, negative 7 and 4, and 2 and negative 3. Okay, so that, again, I don't care if you put this in your calculator, that'll work. If you type in 2 minus negative 3, that's fine. I'm just doing this manually where I have double negatives together and I change it to a positive. But by all means, put it in your calculator. Don't get it wrong, okay? So anyway, we have uh, negative 7 minus 4 is negative 11. And 2 plus 3 is 5. So that's your answer. You can't simplify it. Do not give me an answer. Okay, don't put this in your calculator and give me negative 2.20. Okay, because it's bad. You can't even use that. How did, negative 2.20. There's no rise over run then. It's a decimal. Okay, so please do not give me a decimal. That's bad. Okay. All right, so let's try a couple more here. Um, slope is negative 3, negative 9, and negative uh, 7, negative uh, 2. There's a ton of negatives in there. You can see how a negative gets lost. So I can do that, that, and I'm going to say x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, so uh, y2 minus y1, negative 2, negative 9 over x2 minus x1. So it's plus, plus, and so we get negative 2 plus 9 is 7, and negative 7 plus 3 is negative 4. So that's your answer. You can't simplify that. So negative, you usually write this as negative 7 fourths. The negatives on the top, just like normal. Okay? And that's your slope. All right, cool. So. It's really pretty easy, right? You just got to label and just plug it into the formula and you're good to go. Now, there are two special cases here, math fans, two special cases, all right? And so let's talk about what they are. Uh, if I give you a coordinate of 5, negative 3, and 5, um, comma, 2, all right? So I'm going to put this in our formula. This is our x1, y1, and x2, y2, okay? So m equals negative, and then I get to put a 2 here and a negative 3, and a 5 and a 5. So I get uh, 2 plus 3 is 5, and 5 minus 5 is 0. So if there's a 0 on the bottom, type this in your calculator. Just go get your calculator right now and just type it in. Hit pause and type in your calculator. Okay, and if you come back, you will get error. Division by 0. Boo! Okay, so you can't do that. So please do not write error on the answer blank. It is, it is an error on the calculator, but the slope is undefined. That's really important. If you have a zero, and think of it under, under. If it's undefined, the slope is zero. Or the slope is, if it's the, the zero is in the denominator. Okay, undefined is the slope. It's, it's what a slope is. So let's take a look at what these points are. If I plot this, watch this, five, negative three, right here, and 5, comma 2. So if I graph this line, math fans, 
Look at that. What is that? It's an undefined slope. We, we actually talked about that, right? It's a, hor or it's a vertical line. If it's a vertical line, it's undefined. And now you just proved it by you, uh, use, you know, using the uh, slope formula. So 5 over 0 is undefined. Un and think of it undefined, undefined, under, right? Under. The slope is under, undefined when it's under or the 0 is under everything. Okay? So there's a 0 here. It's automatically undefined. you got to tell me that. That's what you have to put on. If you put 5 over 0 in the answer blank, I will mark it wrong because you don't know what it means. You have to tell me it's undefined. Very, very important. Okay? All right. So the last kind of problem, that's undefined. So the last one is uh, 2, negative 3, and 5, negative 3. So let's find our slope. Label it x1, y1, x2, y2. So it's... Uh, m is equal to, put our signs in there, so we're going to negative 3 and negative 3 and 5 and 2. So that's going to be plus, and again, just putting it directly in your calculator, you're going to have 0 on top and 3 on the bottom. If you divide that, if you notice the zeros on top, that gives you 0. Okay, and if I graph this real quickly, uh, 2, negative 3 is here, and 5 negative 3 is right here. Okay, and look at the kind of line this is. Aha! It's a horizontal line. And you guys remember that. It's like skiing, right? It's Or the floor. It's a zero slope. So zero on top is zero. Zero on the bottom is undefined. Okay? Very, very important. So those are the only cases that you have to remember. you got to obviously remember our nice little friendly formula m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, and please remember x is on the bottom and y is on the top. It's y over x, y over x, which is the x. Okay, y over x. All right, and, but you gotta remember if it's uh, zero on top, the slope is zero. If it's zero on the bottom, it's undefined. Gotta remember that. Okay, and also please put in these negatives here before you even start the problem out. Okay, very, very important. All right, so that is slope of a line given two points, guys. It's really not difficult. You just got to know that formula, y, the change in y over change in x, and then uh, understand the special cases, and you're good to go. All right, that's it, math fans. Have an outstanding day. Adios. Goodbye.